Welcome to Medical Essentials Plus Anatomy and Physiology. Cardiac Blood Flow. The heart is a large muscular organ that constantly pumps nutrient oxygen rich blood to the brain and extremities and transports oxygen poor blood from these areas and other vital organ systems to the lungs to gain oxygen. In this tutorial let's look at an overview of how this vital process of blood circulation occurs. In order to grasp this topic, there are several anatomical structures you should know. Here is a cross section of the human heart, let's look at its parts. The heart has four chambers, two upper chambers, right and left atria, and two lower chambers called the right and left ventricles. They are separated by a membranous muscular tissue called the septum. There are also four valves that prevent the backflow of blood. The bicuspid and tricuspid atrioventricular valves and the pulmonic and aortic semilunar valves. Other structures include the superior and inferior vena cava and the opening of the coronary sinus, the pulmonary arteries and veins, and the aorta. See the in-depth tutorial on the anatomy of the heart in the description. Now let's look at the way blood flows through the heart. First, deoxygenated blood leaves the systemic circulation via the superior vena cava, the inferior vena cava, and the coronary sinus, and drains into the right atrium. Atrial contraction pushes blood through the tricuspid valve and into the left ventricle. Note, during atrial contraction, the tricuspid valve is open and the pulmonic valve is closed. Ventricular contraction pushes the blood through the pulmonic valve and into the pulmonary trunk. Note, during ventricular contraction, the pulmonic valve is open, while the tricuspid valve remains closed to prevent the backflow of blood into the right atrium. Blood moves to the pulmonary trunk and into the left and right pulmonary arteries where it enters the pulmonary circulation. Here gaseous exchange takes place as carbon dioxide diffuses out and oxygen diffuses into the bloodstream. Oxygenated blood leaves the pulmonary circulation and re-enters the heart via the left and right pulmonary veins. Enters the left atrium. Atrial contraction pushes the blood through the bicuspid valve. Note, bicuspid valve is open and aortic valve is closed. Blood enters the left ventricle. Ventricular contraction pushes the blood through the aortic valve. During ventricular contraction, the aortic valve is open, while the bicuspid valve remains closed to prevent the backflow of blood into the left atrium. Oxygen-rich blood enters the aorta and then is redistributed to the systemic circulation where it is utilized by tissues and organ systems for cellular respiration. Here is the full sequence of cardiac events of both the left and right sides of the heart occurring simultaneously. Blood enters the vena cava and pulmonary veins. Enters the atria. Passes through the atrioventricular valves. Enters the ventricles. Passes through the semilunar valves. Enters the pulmonary arteries and aorta. Then leaves the heart. Learn how the human heart generates an electrical impulse, coordinates atrial and ventricular contraction to make blood flow in an efficient manner. Watch this tutorial on the heart conduction system. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. It will help us to make more videos. Let us know the topic you would like us to cover in the comments. Thanks for watching.